Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the podcast slash video slash first episode of my new docu-series called Snack Hacks with Nicole. So if you are new to this, thank you so much for joining. This is going to be all about our favorite junk foods, but finding a healthy alternative to them. So I'm really excited to share that with you today. Each week we are gonna go through a different type of snack and I'm gonna review it why it's the better option. So if you are somebody who is into fitness, but likes their pizza, likes their ice cream, likes their snacks, and is a snackaholic and a foodie and life balance essentially, then this is a show that's gonna be for you. So every single Wednesday, it's gonna be a new snack that I find and I love and I have to share with you. So my name is Nicole Evans. I am a fitness instructor, fitness coach, and I am passionate about fitness and food. So today I'm going to be sharing my latest find, which is avocado ice cream. And I'm gonna tell you why it's the better alternative to ice cream, why it is uh, just all around incredible. And um, I'm gonna do that through the three different ways, the micronutrients, the macronutrients, the calories, and the ingredients. So if you don't know what the, those are, don't worry, I'm gonna explain it. And at the end, I will give you a link that you can go to called um, my, my Macro Academy, and it'll explain it all. So if this sounds like something for you, keep watching and don't forget, share the video. That's what I'm gonna do right now so you can share this with your friends because I promise this is not something you are gonna wanna miss. So, to kick things off, this is the product I found this week. It is called avocado ice cream and this is exactly what it looks like. And I'm that girl who has like a spoon and just the ice cream tub. I don't need a bowl, right? Right. So um, it's called um, Kato or Kato. I'm sure it's, I'm pronouncing it wrong. That's the brand here. Um, two selling points that I love about this is that it's also non-dairy. It is also uh, soy-free, vegan, and gluten-free. So I'm not on a soy-free, vegan diet by any means, but I do know a lot of people who are lactose intolerant and or on a vegan diet because I live in like Orange County. I live in California, like LA, everybody's vegan. So this is, this is a great alternative to ice cream that does have dairy in it. Um, so that's one, one spec of it. Um, another great thing that I love about this is that I actually found different flavors of it. And I know what you're probably thinking, like avocado and ice cream, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Like that sounds kind of nasty, right? No, I was totally with you until I remembered I tried an avocado milkshake a few years ago and it was, the, it was great. But the only problem with it was it was loaded with sugar. So I have found both one thing to satisfy my ice cream cravings and my avocado milkshake cravings. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the love. So if you are tuning in, give me some hearts, share this video, tag a friend, say hey, where you're coming from. I can see the comments, I think, I think. So anyways, continuing. So let's start with the, um, the serving size and the calories here. So the serving size in this is half a cup of ice cream. So in a normal ice cream, it's about 300 calories. This is only 170 calories in a serving size. Now, if you are eating the whole pint, keep in mind you are gonna have to times everything by four because there is four servings per container. So, my math folks, go right ahead. I'm not gonna stop you from eating the whole pint if you had a day, but um, <laughs> I, I eat a whole pint. I could eat this whole thing. This is like the size, it's smaller than my head. I could eat this thing, right? Um, but it's fabulous. Orange County, California. Hey, Tracy, what's up, girl? Yes, OC in the house. So um, what um, I love about this is a half a serving, that's like a bowl, right? So technically this, this is about half of what a normal ice cream would be like in terms of calories. 
But now we're gonna talk about what makes up the calories, which is the micronutrients. So I'm sure it's gonna mirror it backwards on Facebook, but if you can read that nutrition label, if you can't, that's okay. I'm gonna relay it out for you and I wouldn't lie to you guys. Yell my tribe, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start with the fat. Now, fat gets a really bad reputation because you're like, oh my God, fat, fat's gonna make me fat. Well, the best part about fat is that there's two different kinds of fat, good fat and bad fat. So that's what makes this ice cream unique. Hey Richard, what's up? Oh, San Diego in the house. So um, in this ice cream, the total fat is 11 grams of fat. But if you go underneath it, and it's important to note that avocado is high in fat, but we're, I'm gonna, I, we're, we're getting to that. There's only 1.5 grams of saturated fat. So saturated fat is the bad kinds of fat. Same with trans fat. You wanna avoid trans fat like the plague. And there's zero grams of trans fat in here too. So the fat is incredible on this because it even says it on here, made with good avocado fat. See, it's focusing in. And look, there's even like a cute little avocado, right? So where does that other 9.5 grams of fat come from? I'll tell you where. It's called unsaturated fat. Specifically, monounsaturated fat and polyunsaturated fat. Those are the two good types of fat and avocado is loaded with them. So why are they good for you? Well, a lot of different reasons, but primarily they help with fat loss. So it's kind of ironic. It's like an oxymoron, but that's like cool because that means eating avocado and eating ice cream, this ice cream, I mean, is helping with fat loss. Pretty awesome, right? Right. So if you're on any sort of keto diet, I know a lot of people like the keto diet, it's a high fat diet. This is a way better option than a sugar packed cold stone ice cream, an ice cream cone, um, something that's high in carbs. So that's gonna take us to our next portion, which is the carbohydrates. So carbohydrates, um, I am a carb loving girl, okay? Now I'm gonna be open and honest about that. Now they're just like fats, there's good carbs and there's fat car bad carbs. So um, the bad carbs are typically, they get stored as fat in your body. So that's what we, you know, why a lot of people are really turned on to the keto diet. So there's in this tub of ice cream here, there is, um, not the, sorry, not the tub, the serving size. There's 18 grams of carbs total. So I'm not lying to you, I promise. It's there, which that's not bad. That's, that's way, way, way better than, than, you know, your cold stone with the chocolate syrup and the marshmallows and the pure sugar, right? Um, what's even better about this is that of that, those carbohydrates, even though there's no fiber in here, which I wasn't, it doesn't surprise me, uh, there's only 12 grams of sugar. So 12 grams, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not too bad. You know, for what usually ice cream is, it's usually pure sugar, 12 grams of sugar. That's not bad, people. That's not bad. Remember, these are not foods that are gonna be like the end all be all of, of health. This is what's going to curb your cravings and replace it. So I'm all about replacing bad habits with better habits. So this is a better habit. So if you're like that person that needs ice cream every night, because I know some people who can't sleep until they have like a chocolate bar or like ice cream every night. I got you, okay? So like I said, there's a, this, the, significant, there, the sugar is significantly lower in this than compared to regular ice cream. Um, last but not least, there's protein. Protein in ice cream. This one does not have any protein. Now you might, go, you might argue that regular ice cream does have protein in it. The reason for that is because regular ice cream also has dairy in it. Dairy has protein in it, but this is a non-dairy lactose-free uh, product. So it's not surprising that there's no protein. So that's the one kind of con to here, but ice cream is not typically a high protein food. So you're not gonna find a lot of protein in most snack-like items. Okay, okay. So moving on. Next part of this video, the micronutrients. So micronutrients, they um, are exactly what they sound like, nutrients that are micro. So this is where you have like potassium, calcium, 
all your minerals and vitamins in there. Ice cream has none of that. So we're gonna move on because this doesn't have any of that either. Sorry. But so, so all ice creams are even across the board with micronutrients, but this gets an A on the macros compared to regular ice cream. And um, last but not least, we're gonna talk about the ingredients. And this is where the real, real selling point is with this ice cream. And by the way, none of these videos are sponsored. I just stumble across this stuff and get inspired as I'm grocery shopping hungry, which don't ever go into the grocery store hungry, I promise you, it's, it's a terrible idea. Um, <laughs> so the ingredients, I'm gonna read them all off to you and then I'll tell you like what they are and their benefits. Okay, we have water, avocado oil, organic cane sugar, tapioca starch, vanilla bean paste, sea salt, organic guar gum, and organic gum acacia. Okay, so that sounds like a lot, but I promise you that's actually not a lot of ingredients. Um, usually the more ingredients in something, the worse for you it is. The one to always watch out for is high fructose corn syrup. So what's great is that this does not have high fruct fructose corn syrup in here. Um, instead, it has organic cane sugar. So while that's still sugar, it's organic. Let's just say that it's organic, okay? Also, um, the sea salt is very minimal. Um, the sodium in here is only 45 milligrams. Sodium and salt is synonymous. So um, very minimal sea salt. It's more for a slight zingy taste. Than anything else and yes we're getting to the taste don't worry um and then we also have the vanilla bean paste because i got the vanilla flavor i just went with vanilla on this time even though they had mint chocolate chip and salted caramel um so they just just keep that in mind but i didn't want to get too crazy before i before i you know i just wanted to get a little get my dabble with it before i got too serious with this right right so um yeah, so it's, it's got a vanilla bean taste to it. Yes, I've already tried it. Uh, <laughs> and then the, the paste and the, the two gums, they are like, they make the ice cream texture of this. Uh, and they are all organic as well. So that's excellent. Water, we all know what water is. And last but not least, avocado oil. So avocado oil is loaded with monounsaturated fats that are great fats to help burn fat, um, of course, so of course, sourced from avocado, very similar to olive oil, except I recently learned that olive oil and avocado oil, the difference is, is that they just have a different, um, avocado has a higher boiling point. So that's where those fats come from and uh, the, basically the, the base of the avocado. So it doesn't taste like avocado. So I'm gonna, so my ice cream has melted because I, I took this everywhere with me today, but let me tell you, it's extra creamy. It's a little watery right now <laughs> because I have been eating this like all day. It is, it tastes better than regular ice cream. So this is the magic guys, it's, it's watery, but it's extra creamy. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Like I, I'm not being paid by any company to say this, <laughs> I promise. But I mean, this is just, it's, in, it's incredible. The taste, I was so shocked. I expected it to be, you know, like, you know, they're, like almost something like where it's like, oh, this is too good to be true. This, no, there's no catch guys. There's no catch. So I'm actually gonna be going back to the store for not only more vanilla flavor, but um, more the other flavors too, salted caramel and mint chocolate chip. So if you want, to see a video on how, how those are too, especially compared to this flavor. Cause you know how sometimes like some flavors are like, eh, and some are like, oh boy, yes. And then some like just, it's a, you know, hit or miss type thing. So yeah, yeah. But I'm, I mean, that's why I said vanilla. It's like vanilla, I feel like it's a little harder to mess up than salted caramel or, or mint chocolate chip. 